Uh, you know, it's wonderful. I, um, you know, John was really kind. <laughs> no, he was. he was. He hit a big shot. And when I got in the locker room, he presented me with a game ball. How awesome is that? Right? Um, first of many, you know, we had the first, told John, said, this is the first game of your senior season when we started on Tuesday. You know, to the freshmen, it's your first game playing in this arena. Um, you know, first game for me as a head coach. Tuesday was my first L as a head coach. Today is first W as a head coach. Really thankful for it. It is, um, obviously, uh, we'd rather come out on this end than the other end. Uh, but this is a long journey. You know, uh, I love the fact that we learned on Tuesday and we got better. Uh, I love their courage. I, I think I said it from the beginning, their, their fight has always been there. I want to encourage them to keep fighting, even when the outcome isn't a victory. That's the true challenge. I know you guys are going to tell them how great they are. I'm going to implore them not to listen to you <laughs> and to stay the course. Um, with us having a young team, I feel like when we get down, I think it's going to be, I think the quicker we get out of it, the better we'll be as a team going down the road. But in the last two games, when we, well, in the first game on Tuesday, when we got down, we kind of like dropped our heads and body language changed. We stopped defending. We started trying to catch up with scoring rather than defense. And like he said, we got better this week um, and we got his message. We understand that we're, we need to be a defensive minded team in order to be competitive, in order to win games and in order to have games like this, give ourselves a chance to win. And, I'm a big culprit of it. I'm a leader. I have a bunch of young guys following my lead on my team. And in the second half, I think I had just scored a layup. And he took me out of the game. And he got on me and told me that I have to play defense or I'm not playing. He doesn't care about my scoring. And I mean, That's that. That's for the public, John. <laughs> that, that coupled with the fact that another coach of ours, Coach Fern, told me that my body language was pretty bad in the first half as well. So. I mean, after those two messages, I just, me personally, I wanted to change my body language, language and I wanted to change my focus on defense. And those young guys, like I said, they, they follow me. So I changed my mantra on, defense, on the defensive end, and they don't score a field goal the last eight minutes of the game. Um, honestly, we were running a play, and we had ran it a couple times throughout the game. But they, the way that they were playing it, they had put two guys on the out, one side of the line and two guys on the other side, so they could just easily switch. So I kind of recognized that early. Also in the back of my mind, I remember that they called two pretty quick five-second calls on the baseline out of bounds. So I didn't really want to waste time trying to get to the corner and fight that guy. So I cut my cut kind of short. And I just wanted to get a shot up on the rim and give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it in practice. It's not, you know, being good isn't sexy. It's not pretty. It's not. You know, I think I said it here before. You just got to gotta get dirty. You, you got to be willing, you know, to, to dig in when you feel like you don't have any more to dig in, and they did, because our bench is not deep, you know? And, and the way they were calling the fouls, we had guys in foul trouble. It was, um, we kind of started scrambling our heads together. What, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna solve this? And, you know, they played defense without fouling. They did, they did a really good job. I said it from the beginning, their fight has always been there. You know, um, not, I mean, to hold a team uh, only to free throws for, for seven minutes, that, that's impressive. I mean, that would even make Dick Bennett and Tony Bennett proud right there. I'm so happy. I can't wait to talk to those guys today, you know. Um, but again, 22 turnovers, it's not good enough. We got to improve in that area. We cannot play a game with 22 turnovers. If we can com combine great defense with great sureness, you know, then we can give ourselves a chance. You know, this is just one game. You know, we have to move on and, and keep growing, but definitely so proud of their fight. I mean, they just, they lay down and they fought. About the shot? The shot no, and even if it was, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, I mean, I've put in a lot of work over the, my four years of being, in, of being in college. I put over a lot of work in basketball my whole life. I honestly believe every shot that I take is going in. And that's just how I am. Even if I know it's going off, I'm, I believe in the back of my head is going in. Something's going to happen magically. It's going to go in. He said he wanted to win it. Sincerely, I said, you want to go win it? Well, go win it. And to his credit, he won it. You know? And I'll say this, that was a, that's a really good team. I think Mike is doing a phenomenal job because they, too, are very young. You know? And you can see, I'm, you know, I'm sure that they'll grow from this. Um, but uh, you know, they fought hard, too. You know, they kept us uh, in the first half. They really challenged us. You know? um, so credit to them for uh, you know, the fight that they also had in this. And you know, we appreciate the fact that we get an opportunity to grow. You know, and I, we thank them for taking the trip here and coming to our arena. You know, very thankful that they were willing you know, to come here 
all the way from Oklahoma to play in our arena. It means a lot, and um, you know we're very grateful for that. I, you know, I, I think they're going to grow. They have to because they're playing. They're on the floor. They're, 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 on, they're in the fire. You know, they're either going to be part of the problem or part of the solution, and they got to decide which side they want to jump on because they, they're on the floor. Each individual on the team will play that is eligible. It's, it's going to play. So they're going to grow, and our hopes are that we continue to improve. There's no goal. There's no destination here. This is just a journey. We're not a – told you guys. When I think in my press conference, I don't – how long ago was that? It feels like three years ago now, you know. Um, it's not about the outcome, you know. It's simply about playing just great quality basketball. I don't have any, you know, numerical goals. It's all qualitative. We just want to play quality basketball on both ends. That's all I know.